This tutorial is for optimizing Cam Studio. Now if you haven't done so already, you need to go to camstudio.org, scroll about halfway down the page, find the Cam Studio lossless codec, download it and install it. Uh, codecs are essential to frame rates and quality. I only use two codecs ever. I usually use Cam Studio's codec here. But I'll mention DivX as a codec real quick because it's a good backup and sometimes even works better depending on what you're recording. If you don't have the DivX codec, you can go to divx.com, choose free download, install it, you should be good to go. Now to get the best settings for your DivX codec, you want to go to Video Options, choose the DivX codec from the drop-down menu here, go to Configure, choose the highest definition profile here, notice the 60 frames per second limit, we're going to come back to that. You also want to go to the Codec tab, check Enhanced Multi-Threading, which can add a couple frames per second to your video. Click OK to get out of here. Uh, you also want to set your capture frames to probably 20, your playback rate to 50, your keyframes to 50. Uh, a rule of thumb here is that you want this number to equal this number. Another rule of thumb is that you want this number times this number to equal 1,000. 20 times 50 is 1,000. This ensures that your audio will be in sync and that your output video will be the same speed as your input video. If you don't care about that, you can play around with these numbers, but generally you want the product of these two to be 1,000. And remember the 60 frames per second we saw here? Well, DivX only supports a playback rate of up to 60 frames per second, which is why this is at 50. So you can't make this 70, you're going to get an error if you do that. Now if you want to use Cam Studio's lossless codec, which I highly recommend, you want to choose it from the drop down menu, and its maximum frames per second is 200. So if you want the maximum smoothness of your video, I guess, you can set this to 200, this to 200 as well, and this to 5, because 5 times 200 is 1000. Now you may be thinking 200 frames per second is kind of overkill, but these are actually my settings, and if you look at the frames per second I'm actually getting, it's closer to like 46. This is because the computer has trouble recording at the requested frames per second because the CPU is only so strong. Thus, you often want to request a higher frames per second than you need so that your computer will go the extra mile, try a little bit harder to get those frames per second. Inevitably though, your frames per second will drop if you are recording a large area of the screen or if you are doing something CPU intensive at the same time. One way to help your recording when you are doing something CPU intensive is to go to Options, Program Options, Recording Thread Priority, and choose something above normal. When you choose one of these options, you are dedicating more CPU to recording. The only thing you need to be careful about is this could decrease functionality of whatever else you're doing because you're taking away CPU resources from the other stuff you're doing. Another way you can increase frames per second is going to your display settings and changing the color settings to 16-bit or to 256 if you have that option. This will also increase your recorded frames per second. Uh, that's about all I have for you. If you have any other questions you can go to the Cam Studio Frequently Asked Questions by just typing in this URL. They have answers to a lot of questions you may have here. One other thing I want to mention is if you're hoping to use Cam Studio to download online videos, you're probably better off just using something like Orbit Downloader because that downloads the original files. That's just going to save you some time and hassle. And that's my tutorial. Enjoy Cam Studio.